All right, we're at a new location today. I'm on a back road in Liberty County. I'm gonna start you guys off with this fantastic looker of Saracenia flavivar ornata. And let's look at those veins. That is a impressive plant. Now this whole field here is filled with some very interesting varieties. Uh, most of what we got all throughout this field is actually the very rare variety called Var Rupa Corpora, which here again is this guy. Very beautiful and very rare. So we're going to check out this spot for a while and see what we got. Here we got a stunning example of Flava Varuba Corpora. This guy's growing off under a tree and he is huge. So I love that veination, that yellow throat. Nothing else quite like it. Definitely a beautiful location. And here's your uh, your more common variety. Your Var Rugelii, or the cutthroat pitcher. Intermixed with Var Ornatus. Good, good stuff. You know, besides thousands of pitcher plants, the other thing that's botanically interesting out here are these dwarf cypress trees. Look at that guy. Looks like a bonsai. And they rim this entire seepage slope all the way around. Weird little bonsai cypresses. Yeah. It's a perfect accent to these guys. It's a beautiful area. Wet prairie rimmed with dwarf cypresses that are probably centuries years old. Beautiful. Here we have another stunning patch of Flavivar rupa corpora. Look at those guys. Beautiful yellow tops. Beautiful reddish, orangish bodies. Man, I could look at that all day. That, uh, that definitely heals the wounds of modern society. And of course, you know, we got our usual suspects out here, too. We got native orchids, species of calipogon, grass pinks, beautiful as always. Yeah, this is nice. Here I am in a woodsy little thicket here that is just festooned with Saracenia flava varuba corpora. I mean, look around. Absolutely stunning specimens in here. And their bigger plants are in the tree line, funny enough. Yeah, there's some big guys in here. Gorgeous.
Down here we got a nice smattering of smaller carnivorous plants. Got tons of Saracenia citicina, the parent pitcher plant. Yeah, there's hundreds of them all through the grass here. They're growing next to little Saracenia flava seedlings. You got Drosera tracei in here too. Threadleaf sundew. You also got tons of Pinguicula planifolia. It's my favorite native butterwort species. And you also got Drosera intermedia. Beautiful stuff. Another interesting carnivorous plant in this beautiful field of Saracenia is, of course, the introduced Venus flytrap. Here's its beautiful flowers. There's the traps that everybody knows about. So we can have a little fun here. <laughs> Never gets old. Yet again, these plants aren't supposed to be here. These were introduced a couple of decades ago by carnivorous plant enthusiasts. That thought it would be a fun idea to put these out here amongst the Saracenia. And I mean, they're not invasive, but they are non-native. So yet again, you know, this might be really cool, but don't go planting any plant that's non-native to your ecosystem in your native area because you could be introducing something detrimental. But these guys aren't really hurting anything. And it's kind of a cool mix in with all the other carnivorous plants here. And yet again, that's a Dionea mouse capula, Venus flytrap. Monotypic genus. There's only one genus of Venus flytrap. And it's just a just an amazing plant. Never gets old. Captures the imagination of children and adults alike. Probably the most famous and wide known plant in the world if you show pictures of it. And you know, it's right down here amongst all the beautiful Saracenia seedlings and the Saracenia citicina and all different sundews. Beautiful, beautiful area. Just one more shot at those flowers. And again, those big old traps. Some of these traps maybe you know an inch and a half. Great to see. Venus fly traps in the wild. Yeah, guys, I can't get enough of these Flava, uh, huh, Flava Varuba Corporis. And I believe I'm at the famed Red Tube site that's always talked about in carnivorous plant lore. But I don't know, because any good carnivorous plant person won't let you know where these places are. To protect these guys from the hands of poachers.
And see, this is how vulnerable they are. Because my car is right over there. Alright guys, we hit another great spot here, full of different varieties of flavas, and it's got my favorite one in it. This is Saracenia flava var artropurpurea, or known as the, uh, the all red tubed Saracenia flava. And the only thing that makes it a difference is... It's red from top to bottom, and when it opens, it does not have the yellow mouth like Varuba Corpora here does. So when it opens, it's all red. Absolutely stunning plant. The camera can't even really explain to you how dark this thing is in person. Fucking awesome though. And I mean, just look at this area it's growing in. Insane. Now over here, we got a nice patch of extremely deep vein Saracenia flavivar ornata. Man, look at that. And of course, you know, you got your basic Rugelii. This guy has a daddy long leg hanging out on the back of him. That's pretty cool. Yeah, we're going to spend some time in this field, too. What we got. Yeah, guys, doesn't get any better than this. Look at this. Var Ornata. Holy crap. Absolutely breathtaking. The deep veins. The huge ruffled lid. Everything about this plant's fantastic. And look at the size of that lid. It's crazy. Just the individuals in this field are absolutely stunning. My God. Yeah, this might be one of the better locations for Saracenia Flava I've ever visited. Because every single one has its own different flair to it. Man. Nature's amazing. I've had a pretty rough year. Like everybody probably has. But coming out here for some reason makes all the problems dissolve away temporarily really puts me at peace with myself being out here with the carnivorous plants it's just there's just nothing else like it calms the soul makes you forget about all the stupid drudgeries and politics of normal human existence. Look at that guy. Wow. Like a dragon. Stunning. Alright, we got a storm rolling in. 
I'm looking at Mr. Fire Engine here. Look at that thing. Not sure what it is. Var Rubicorpora, Var Fornada, God knows whatever. All these Vars are just kind of bullshit. That's some old dead European dude made up a long time ago anyways. Man. Friend of his is hanging out over here. Right next to a beautiful Rupa Corpora. And we got that storm rolling in. Get cooled off by some rain. All right. So here we are to close off the trip at one last Venus flytrap habitat. Right on the side of a highway. And there are thousands of them. Yet again, introduced species. But man, look at the size of some of these plants. That's enormous. It's just so cool to see these guys in the wild. I mean... I know they're non-native, but I'm not really against anyone planting them here. They're not really seem to be doing anything any harm. Beautiful plants, though. Just the size. Dark red. And yet again, all those white flowers, that's all them. Come down for one more good shot. Yep. Dianea mouscapula Venus flytrap. Too cool.